Right, today I thought I'll make a video on how I get my hair blue. Um, at my age, which is 48, I'm actually going grey. You can see all the white hairs, the greys. I'm probably about 45-50% grey. Um, and I just got fed up of dyeing my hair every two weeks, seeing the white roots coming through after dyeing it brown. And I thought, oh, I just can't keep up with this. So, and I didn't want to go completely grey either. <clears throat> and I thought I experimented with different colours. I went green, I went red, purple <clears throat> and blue. It actually works very well with grey and white hairs because it fades into it. and probably makes it a bit more silvery. So I stuck with the blue. Uh, it's really, really easy to maintain. Okay, once a week you've got to top it up, but it's no big deal because this is how I do it. Now, the colour that I use is a crazy colour. It's a Capri Blue. Um, I kept this shade because it's what I know best and it works well with me. I'm sure there's plenty of other makes that do a blue, so you need to experiment to see the shade that you like. Um, with these crazy colours, um, they're like a leave-in conditioner, so they haven't got any peroxides in them. I normally mix it with a conditioner, a hair conditioner. Now, the hair conditioner that you should use is one that does not contain any silicone. Um, so any conditioners that proclaim to leave your hair silky, smooth, soft, uncurly, da da da, avoid them because they have silicone in them. And that silicone will avoid the color of the crazy getting in there. So you need to look for ones that are silicone free and this Timote is one that I found. Um, you also need a container, you can see this is well used, and a colouring brush. And I've washed my hair, towel dried it, and what you need to do is just comb it through. You can see that I've got so many greys. So you just comb it through. And then, as a precaution, get some cream, put it on your face. Uh, this stops the any colour from staining your skin. Otherwise, you'll be walking around with blue blotches on your skin, on your face, and on your neck for a few days. It does all wash off, so you don't have to worry. So we just put that on. So I get my conditioner and I pour it into my container. Now you put in an amount of conditioner that you normally put in your hair when you have a bath. Now I often do this in the bath. I'm not normally out, I'm normally relaxing in the bath when I'm doing this. So the conditioner is in my pot. Then I get my crazy color, squeeze that in. Now you only need um, about a teaspoon's worth of crazy colour in there, depending on the shade that you want. Because I'm blue already, I don't really need that much in there. So I've got that much. Give that a stir. So the conditioner and everything goes a nice blue colour. So this prolongs your, your crazy colour as well. I probably get about six weeks worth out of one of these bottles. Once a week, dab it onto my hair. Then, this is the easy bit, I put this onto my hair, like so. I don't always do a really good job of it, I just normally just get my hands and just put it in. So let me just put that on. And I've got most of my white hairs on the front here, so we need to colour those up. I will go completely white at some stage, maybe when I'm in my mid 50s. I'm just fed up of using hair dyes, peroxides, ammonias. My hair condition was really dry. And I didn't like the idea that I was putting that amount of chemicals into my scalp because the scalp actually absorbs a lot of the stuff that you put on. I'm not so happy about this either because I am quite aware of what my body might be absorbing from the chemicals that are in this crazy colour, but I haven't found a natural alternative yet. And henna, I don't particularly want to go 
red or orange with that and that's pretty permanent you see the the white growth with that with this the grey hair regrowth is very um it just blends in so we put that all on so i'm going to continue applying the hair color conditioner it is a good idea to wear some gloves i forgot to put them on because it will stain your hands a lot um, so when you wash your hair out wear gloves so i've massaged it into my scalp so you can see it's all blue covered up um, I was just thinking, if you've got black hair or any other colour hair and you're thinking about going blue, green, red, whatever, you have to bleach your hair before you do it. Um, and for the ones who are going grey, lucky for you, uh, you can just bang this on and it'll go blue. It's excellent if you're going grey. One of the plus points of being grey and old. <laughs> um, you're going to have to leave this on for about... They say 10 minutes, but I'll probably leave it on for about 20. Um, I'm going to walk around the house, do my thing like this. Normally I'm in the bath, uh, but this time around I'm going to be doing other things. White, I've kept the hair dye on for half an hour. You're probably wondering what all this white stuff is on my face. It's bleach, it's for another video that I'm making. So I'm going <laughs> to have a shower, get rid of it all. So this is after my wash. I actually put some curlers in for you guys, <laughs> I don't normally, um, it's a vibrant blue and it's lovely and soft because that uh, crazy colour acts like a conditioner as well um, and because I mixed it in with more conditioners, conditioned it even more. <laughs> um, I have some greys and white still there but that doesn't matter, the blue and the white they all just mingle together and converge and you can't really tell. Um, it will fade with every wash. So if you do it every day, your blue is going to rinse out and you'll notice it. Um, so I just tend to do it once a week when I'm in the bath, put it in, and then it's, hey presto!